Okay, so we have to analyze the response for this URL, this one here. So if we put, it's saying that we have to do a GET request to it. So let's do a GET request. A GET request to this URL. Let's send the request. So what we get back, it's an object that contains the following structure. It's a, it starts like a dictionary, not like an array. Then it has a property status. Okay, count for count total in pages. And then it has an array of posts. It's a blog, remember? So a blog, it's always con uh, comprised by posts. And every post has an ID, a type, slug, URL, status, title, title in plain text, content, it has an excerpt that is basically the smaller version of the of the content, date, modified categories, tags, that it's another array, so it's a nested array, like within the posts array you have little dictionaries, or not little, but dictionaries that contain at the same time, they could contain some other arrays like the categories array or the tags array or the author dictionary inside or the comments dictionary array. So it, it's a complicated object and, and you cannot expect to like remember all of it or or like be very fast by accessing its properties. If you want to access something from that object, you will have it's going to take a little bit. And that's okay. Like you just gotta take time and, and do it slowly with patience and you will be able to access whatever you want from it. So for example, if I am trying to access I'm I'm trying to get the first item from it from from the entire response, I would have to do something like assuming that I have the response already, the object, the response, uh so in this case it would be let's say that this is the the body of the response. So the body will contain it will contain it says here that it has all these properties. So I'm gonna access the posts. Posts. And then I know that this is an array, right? So being an array I can access by index. So if I want to get the first post I would say the first post. And then since I know that every post must have the same properties I can access the title of that post if I like, like this, title. But then if I don't want the title, if I want, let's say, the tags, then I, I do tags like this, but I know at the same time the tags is an array, so I can also access the tags elements like this, like the element number two. So zero, one, they, does, they don't, it doesn't have two numbers, two elements, so the, it does have two elements, but zero and one. So then I can access the the title, you know, and that's that's how you basically that's how you access by nesting a lot, by nesting a lot of uh, of your. Let me see if this makes sense. Let, let's try to print it. It's given here a JSON decode error. So the the response ah because it's, that's not the URL. So let me put the right URL. Here it is. Let's try again. Let me see if it's the same problem. What are we here? Ah, oh, we're in the number six. It's not supposed to be number six. It's supposed to be number seven. So let me let me go to number seven. There you go. Okay. There it is. Software development. So the title of the second tag of the first post so let's see here the title here it is software development the title software development it was from the tags it was the second tag from the first post so like that you have to always access all the elements all the properties and data inside a particular data structure that comes in in an api